it's a school day legit school day this guy said you know you're going rabbit hunting you got to take me but there's a reason for that hi yeah <laughs> so that's what we got going on we got kendall gray in the house ethan's with us we're going on a rabbit hunt down here in south louisiana you're watching outside the levees we got two separate packs of dogs supposed to show up so we're going to pick up one of them right now these dogs are fired up it's this is prime time you know this is the end of the season so they're tuned in they've been hunting hopefully we can put a few on the ground yes ready to shoot yeah are i'm you ready, ready to shoot okay you're ready I'm to ready shoot. shoot a lot it jack means... what you gonna do you're gonna hold the rabbits for us or are you gonna shoot well said well said yeah <laughs> he's a he's a well thought out man philosopher so all right well let's get on let's go pick up the dogs get out there and have some fun all right here's the puppies they're not coming today but they are ready look at them we got one more hi y'all ready to go are y'all ready to hunt you look like you're ready all right so we're gonna get these dogs loaded up get down there i love how they all got that red look to them yeah they're yeah not dark. I don't even know what that's called. I don't either. Blonde, maybe? Blonde. Well, that's My guess is cinnamon. Oh, Sounds good. Sounds look at good. you. Dang. What's a good hunt in Kentucky? How many rabbits? If you kill two, you're done good. Okay. So yeah. we just got to top. We just got to get three, and you're like, best hunt ever. Just about, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, one of my hunters needs to get him some boots. Looks like both of my hunters need to get some boots. So what kind of boot is that? I think it's size 11. Size from the look at that, look at that hunt, rabbit hunting boot, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a white rabbit hunting boot, but that also doubles up as a crab boot, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> it really is an everything boot. Really. It's an everything boot, that's right. It was a shrimp boot, y'all, but you can use them for just about anything. I use it for dirt bikes. Dirt bikes, there yeah, you go, right. dirt, dirt bike bikes. boot. <laughs> that's awesome. You gotta get the Royal brand too. Don't skimp out on the Walmart brand. Get the Royal brand. The reason they're white is because in the hot sun, they don't get nearly as hot as a black boot like that. And they are handy. Kendall gotta get him some shrimp boots. That's squirrel hunting boots. Everything boots. Everything boots. Gotta get you some. You wanna go rabbit hunting? You rabbit cat? It's like, dude, y'all are ruining my nap. Go away. I'm busy up here. All right, so who we got there? So we got Boo. That's the daddy. Yeah. Um, We got Coco. That's the mama. And we got Bo Jr., which is the son. Bo Jr. Yep. I like it. Bo Jangles. That one's Coco, just like you got a dog named Coco. I like it. All right, now the good thing about late season hunts is I've got all sorts of an assortment of shotgun shells in my truck. So we're gonna try to hunt with mostly what we find. Oh, Jack just found some. There you go, see, Jack's already found them. So we're only gonna hunt today with what we find in the truck. I might be chancing it, but I kind of know myself. I know there's a lot of shells in there. See what you got. Oh, well that's cheating. Jack found, oh man, that, that was too easy. I'll use these. Jack made that too easy. Let's see. You got to look in the door, Jack. Let's see. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. You smell them? You smell the shells? We can't use that, can we? Uh, let's see. I got 410, 410. I'm good on 410 shells that appears. Oh, yeah. These are good, too. These are. Oh, yeah. We got four, lots of 410. Oh, we can't use that on a, on a, on a rabbit. Don't want to use that on a rabbit. Let's see. More. I mean, I mean, just in case, just in case, right? Ooh, yeah. Right? Yeah, if you want to <laughs> spend a little money. Yeah, right? We'll save that for turkey season. All right, Jack, I got plenty of shells for you, bro. You got shells for me? Oh, you the man, bro. All right, well, we good. Let's get these loaded up in the vest. Wait, do we need to use this one? Yeah, we'll use that one. That's a good one. All right, who we got here, Peanut? What dogs we got? Trix is the little dog, Duke, and Bo. You got a Bo too? Bo. So yeah. we got a Bo and a Bo Jr. in that pack. One female, two yeah. males. So we're going to be yelling a lot of Bo. Yeah. A lot of Bo. 
All right, y'all ready? It's gonna be a fun day. We're gonna get y'all out of here before it gets too hot, too. Hunt him up, bro. Hunt him up, 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 hunt him up. There it goes. It's going that way. It's going that way. All right, guys. That took about uh, six seconds. Jump the first rabbit. Oh, there he is. He's coming to y'all. Coming to y'all. He... Got him. Up one more. There we go. Got him. I got him. I shot him a couple extra times because he was just hopping around. He's down now though. We'll wait till the dogs find it and I'll show it to them and then let them know they found it. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Here you go, here you go, dead. Here you go, dead. Good job, good job, good job, good job. What you think, dude? Having fun? Yeah. Right We got one down. Right there, right there, right there. Got him. Come on, Trixie. Come on, Trixie. Yeah, yeah. Watch him. Straighten him up. Straighten him up, dude. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. How, how often y'all practice y'all dogs? Uh, Braylon runs them as, as much as he could, but he worked a lot, so he probably runs them at least like twice a month. Yeah? Yeah. That's that's a good bit. Yeah. We try to get him out as much as we can. Yeah. What was y'all best hunt this year? Uh, I think we killed about like six. Six? Yeah, we didn't really hunt that much. Yeah. We uh, try to well, get We got out a, a top lot. six. We're trying to get out a lot this month, but he's been busy working. Yeah. We're going to run them today. How often you run yours, P? I try to run every day when it's cold. Whenever <laughs> I got hunters. If I got hunters and they want hot, sometimes I might skip two days and let them rust in. Yeah. But mostly five five times a week. Uh, and then what you do in the off season? Hog hunt, fish. So you don't let your rabbits run in the off I mean, your dogs run no, in the off No, I don't run them in the summertime. I got you. I don't. I, I so should, one, right? Because at the beginning of the season they'd be rusty, but I don't run them in the summer. Well, we got a lot that could eat them down here. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. And we got rattlesnakes, so right. I ain't right. Really losing the dog to yeah, a snake. Yeah, you tune them up when it gets cold. Yeah, I start them off as soon as they get cold first frost. What you doing, Duke? Dukey Duke, you ready, Duke? You ready, Duke? Trixie and Duke. But Tim got his uh, everyday boots on. <laughs> they, them boys went and picked up some brand new ones this morning. <laughs> brand new. Break them in right. That's right. All right, Vinny. Jack's going to review your crab meat sandwich you brought. What you think, Jack? Two thumbs down on Vinny's crab Disgusting. sandwich. 
All right, let's see it. Let me see. All right, Vinny brought us these crab meat sandwiches. I do not like, it does not taste like crab. Okay, Jack said two thumbs down. Hmm, I don't know, I'm gonna have to try it. Vinny brought us these delicious sandwiches last night. We're hanging out with Vinny from Pelican Bone. We love you, bro. I'm gonna try a sandwich that Jack don't like. That is delicious, Jack. It don't taste like crab, you're right. That's stuffed crab. Stuffed crab sandwich. First time I've ever had that. That's a great idea. You got it? Yeah, I got him. I knew that sucker was coming. Got one down. One down, y'all. Here to do it. First one down. See how many more we can get. Fine, tricks it. There you go. There you go. I see him. Dear rabbit, dear rabbit, dear rabbit, dear rabbit, tricks it. Dear rabbit, dear rabbit. Hey, dear rabbit. Hey, dear rabbit. He was sitting in them logs, eh? Yeah. He's running. It's a deer. Chase. <laughs> Why can wait, is it deer season? No. Uh, I wish you could shot that thing. <laughs> if it was deer season, you would not probably get that. Alright. You get one. There he is, there he is, right there. I think so. Yeah, I got him. I got him. <laughs> Jack said, let's go. Go get him. I <laughs> got my little rabbit dog. Look at him. Go get him, rabbit dog. Good job. Pull him on out of there. Pull him on out of there, Jack. Move. There you go, bro. Good job, Jack. Let's go get ready. We might have more. Come here. There you go, bro. Good job, dude. Look what happened? So, he dropped it and you shot him while he jumped. Yes, sir. And he was in the air. I got him. <laughs> Tell us what happened on that rabbit. So, the rabbit jumped and then he shot it while he was in the air. And then he just dove. Like, and how did we know the rabbit was coming? <laughs> How did we know it was coming? We seen it. Yeah, yeah, but we heard the dogs too, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, y'all, we almost towards the hunt now. It's just been a great time. It hasn't been rock, you know, rocking and rolling, rabbits everywhere, but hey, every day is different. Dogs are doing a great job. Uh, it's just a fun fellowship to get everybody out from all walks of life. We got Kendall and Ethan down from Kentucky and Peanut and Braylon and all these folks who never met before are all here together today. And uh, that's what makes it special. Just getting good folks together, having a good time, the appreciation of dogs. I mean, that's a big thing on my channel. I've been doing since, since, since I started really, we're showing hunting dogs. That's something I'm personally passionate about. I don't have any packs of hounds. I have a, a duck dog, but 
I've just always been uh, just an advocate for, for hunting with dogs and I'll continue to be on this channel. That's a big part of what we do. Um, oh, here we go. Let's get ready. Oh crap, rabbit. Got him. Yeah, we got him. Okay, pick him up. Bring him by your other one. Come here, Trixie. Yeah, we got her. We got two. Come on, Trixie. Here, 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 here. Got another one, dude. You got him in the nose. I got him in the nose. Okay. All right, bro. We got two. <laughs> that's a good Not thing. Not too bad. You can get three. That's better. Yep. All right, Jack. Come on. My man got his rabbits. There you go, bro. All right, bro, what'd you think? Pretty solid. First Louisiana of, rabbit hunt? Bunch of swamp rabbits. How many did you get? One. Got the one. You, you kicked we the hunt seen, off for us. See, there's literally one just ran across the road right here, but we've, we've stayed on the road. We can't shoot the road, but we've watched like six. Yeah, I'm right. fine with that. I like watching rabbits. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, but there's one literally just right there. Yeah, they, they like the road. Yeah, we've just been it's a good shooting lane. Listening to the dogs. Yeah. Amen. What Keep happened with you, Junior? Keeping old boys hunting. Junior got tired. That's all right. We got a little pile right here. I'm sure Peanut's going to come out with a few. These are Aiden put his up or he's still in there? No, he got his right here. That ain't bad. I got two. All right, dude. Overall, Louisiana. Give us, give us a rundown. What you thinking? Louisiana, a lot of targets. A lot of different targets and there's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. A lot of pigs, a lot of nutria, mm -hmm. a lot of ducks, we didn't hunt those, a lot of rabbits, a lot of squirrels, mm -hmm. a little bit of deer, a lot of fish, a lot of gators, There's a lot of things here. Uh, shrimp po' boy or roast beef po' boy? I'm going, I'm going shrimp because you can always pull them off and dip them in ketchup. Ah, smart man, smart man. Anything that like you didn't expect, like, oh, I didn't think it would be that way. Ethan didn't expect the sun for some reason. <laughs> I'm a true redneck now. They make a lotion for that, Ethan. I should have been using it. Right, that's why I said it there today. I'm like, I'm gonna put it where they can see it if they choose to use it. <laughs> the day it's cloudy. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. So, well, man, we appreciate you coming down, yeah, brother. Yeah, I appreciate you. Invite me you got here. Jack out of this two days of school. I know. So he, Jack should he's be. the real winner here. <laughs> I mean, at least buying a man one more po' boy, Jack. Come on. He got you out of two days of school. Give me some of your cheez -Its. <laughs> He's stingy. He's stingy. Kendall's taking her glasses on. Oh, no. He'll fight over that. So, all right. Well, we're going to get packed up and get you guys back to the airport. Appreciate y'all coming. All right, we're loading up the dogs now. Time to go home. You know what time it really is. Get in that kitchen. All right, folks, look at that delicious rabbit. I deboned it, and we're going to go ahead and season it, get started. We're cooking a pasta laya, not a jambalaya, a pasta laya. That's right. You can use pasta instead of rice. Have a very similar version of the jambalaya dish. I'm not going to make this one spicy so my youngest son, Milo, can eat it. He doesn't like anything spicy, so you're not gonna see a lot of Cajun seasoning and all that, but normally we would use that. So here's the rabbit meat, deboned. Shout out to Kendall, we loved having you down. Thank you for just coming all in. You and Ethan were great to have. Uh, just a great example for Jack and some of the young kids around here to watch. So we appreciate y'all very much and look forward to seeing your version of all the craziness we did that week. So here's our version of what we're gonna cook. All right, so there's all that deboned rabbit meat. I'm gonna hit it with some garlic powder. 
and I'm gonna hit it with some all-purpose seasoning, salt, pepper, and spices. It's not very peppery. I know I said that I'm trying to stay away from that in this video. Um, so it's, you know, mostly just got some, some, some flavor, but it certainly won't be too spicy for my little dude. So I'd like to get him to try and eat this. Let me just go ahead and mix that up. I don't think we need to do like a true flip. And then we're just gonna do that same thing again. Garlic. And salt, pepper, and spices, all-purpose seasoning. And we'll get that into the pressure cooker. All right, I melted about a quarter stick of butter down in that pot. We got it at a fairly medium heat, and we just want to get it in there. We're going to cook it off, brown it off a little bit first. Not like a heavy sear or nothing, but I do want to brown it some. Go ahead and crank my heat up. I'll just do it all at once, y'all. We're kind of rushing this meal, getting it ready for dinner for everybody. All right, we got that rabbit cooked down a little bit. And I'm going to go in with an onion, some bell pepper, slowly. And also some chopped andouille sausage. So we had, uh, that's two rabbits and uh, a small onion half a bell pepper, and a link of andouille sausage all in there together now. There it all is. Get it all mixed up in that pressure cooker. I'm cooking everything with the pressure cooker these days. Time is of the essence, y'all. Go ahead and hit it with just a little bit more of that all-purpose seasoning. Okay. Get that mixed around in there like so i'm gonna put in a nice couple scoops of garlic because garlic is good and then i'm coming in with some chicken stock i'll probably have i know this thing is about four cups so let's see what that gives us let's run with that and then we could add more as needed but that should be about three cups right there and Close up our lid, get my topper on, and once it gets going, I'm gonna put my heat down to medium and go for 20 minutes. All right, we got our rabbit cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and use my potato masher to knock it all down, get it shredded. It's good and tender in there. All right, now we're gonna add our pasta. Get that in there. And mix that pasta up. And let it start cooking. We're getting real close to having some finished pasta live, folks. All right. Let that start cooking down. All right, folks. There's the finished product. And you want to take and just garnish that with some parsley or green onion, whatever you like. There you go. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Got to try it out. Mm. It's good, it's different. Like, it's not jambalaya. I'm not quite sure why they call it pasta laya. I mean, I guess because you're doing the same steps of process, but it's a total different dish in my opinion. But that's what we call it, so that's what I'm going to go with. Hope y'all enjoy the collaboration we did with Kendall Gray. Go check it all out on his page. Jack had a great time, didn't you, Jack? Yeah. All right, we'll see y'all on the next one.